Good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here. And today, guys, we're here with something a little different. I took my son to a video game store today, and it sells. It's not a GameStop. It's called Game Players, and it's in Brockport, for about half an hour from where I live. But they have all the old systems, Sega Saturn, Sega Genesis, Nintendos, all, all the different lines, PSPs, PS Vitas, whatever kind of game system you want, they have. Walls and walls of retro games, and my son's a big gamer and a retro gamer. So we got him a few PlayStation 1 games. We got him a PS3 game. But they also have um, about seven long boxes of comics. And it's only a dollar for the comics. Whatever you find in those bins. And um, I pulled the first Rocketeer out of there last week. But I went through the bins today and I got a dollar haul. And we're going to see what books I got for a dollar each and you guys let me know at the end if I got a good deal or you think I didn't I thought I bought some fun books for me so regardless I'm happy but let's share these books and see what you think out there so first up we have Avengers 351 I had to buy this one because it has a binary on the cover and I'm a huge Carol Danvers person so that was a must-have I haven't read this issue this one was a pure cover buy. I just love it. You have um, just a lot going on there. Uh, great Kiss cover. You got Medusa walking up. Just uh, not Medusa. Um, forgot her name all of a sudden. But great cover. Had to have that one too. Uh, this cover was absolutely beautiful. Uh, so Loki Siege. It's a one shot. Great, great, beautiful cover. Um, I can't ever pronounce that get that guy's name right, so I'm just not going to do it. And uh, Marvel Age 94, a great X-Men cover. Plus, we have Dazzler right up here in the corner, so gets added to the Dazzler uh, bin. So, fun book. And this is a series I collect whenever I see the books. I want to complete it one day. It's just one of those low-key series that I like. It has a Spider-Woman in it, so had to have it, you know, Julia Carpenter. So we have Secret Defenders, issue 21. Fantastic cover. And I got another one in here somewhere. And then we got some oddities, right? Um, Adventure Comics, number one, Rocket Ranger. The hit video game, now a color comic. Don't know anything about the video game. Don't know anything about the comic. But for a buck, I bought it for fun. Why not? And uh, so we have that. <clears throat> now, another book I never heard of. This is uh, from Comico. Morning Star number one. And I checked. It's one self-contained story. Um, you got a woman. You got a sword. You know what we buy in this channel. No surprises here. So there we go. And uh, I took a peek inside. And the story looks like it's going to be fun. So win-win. Then, of course, keeping with all things barbaric and savage. Uh, Blackthorn Publishing, we have Blackthorns 3 and 1, and it looks like three fantastic tales in there, and uh, definitely had to get it, especially for one of the tales called Moon Beast, which looks fantastic, so was happy to grab and add this to the collection. And then I picked up some old Dark Horses, and um, you may like them, you may hate them, I don't know, I've never read them, so giving them a shot. We have um, Week 1 of... Uh, Comics Greatest World, Barb Wire, and uh, we grabbed two copies of that, a buck each. Everything was a dollar, so figured why not? It's a cool cover. And uh, Pitbull Week Two, another cool cover. I think that's Bob McCloud. Yep, Bob McCloud cover. All right, so then um, Dave Dorman cover, Ghosts. Love this cover. I always wanted this book in the collection just because I love the cover. So now I have two in the collection. All right. And then we have week three with Wolf Game. And again, just another killer cover. I have no idea who does this one, but it's a beauty. Love that cover. Then another great cover. Keeping with the Savage theme, we have Motorhead week four. 
And these covers are just fun. They're great. <clears throat> and then I got Ghost Number One, an Adam Hughes cover with Adam Hughes art inside. So beautiful book. My, I may look for the rest of these. This is uh, really cool. Then um, I just thought this was a nice cover, so I grabbed it. This is Jay Anacleto. Uh, I'm a big fan of his art. And this is uh, Vampirella, uh, Vampirella, one of the volumes, but issue one. And, you know, who knows? The series might not be good, but this cover is incredible. So I love the coloring on it, but Jay Anacleto's art is just always incredible. So happy to have that. Uh, and then these, we always talk about books we buy every time we see them. And whenever I see these, I buy them. I don't know why. I do know why. I love these covers. They're gorgeous. Greg Land covers. We have Red Sonia number zero with the black background. Love this cover. And then we have Red Sonia number zero with the white background. And I can never decide which one I like more. All I know is that they are both beautiful covers. And I'm always happy to add them to the PC. I don't care. I will buy them anytime I see them. And again, I paid a dollar for each one of those issues. Let me know how you think I did in the comments below. But that's it for today, guys. Just a fun little dollar haul that I was picking up while my son was shopping video games. And until next time, keep it casual. Attention all, use channel sponsor Rogue Trader at theroguetraderutah.com and my code, keep it casual, for 10% off your comic cleaning and pressing needs. Remember, when submitting your books to be graded, use a trusted professional.